guys, it's Becca and welcome to a new video. This video is going to be my June plan with me. So hopefully we have our bullet journals. They're all filled out, ready to go because June is in a couple of days. But if you don't, go ahead and grab your journal, grab your supplies, grab a snack and you guys can go ahead and make your journal along with me. Hopefully this will give you some inspiration for your journal so that June is a great month and you're ready to go. Before we get started, I just wanted to say that if you're new here, welcome. If you want to subscribe, go ahead and click the button. I post a new video every single Thursday and whether you're subscribed or not, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. That'd make me really happy. And I guess with all that being said, we can go ahead and watch my June monthly spreads. Hi guys, happy almost June. Um, I'm really, really sad that May is ending because it's my favorite month, but I guess I'm happy because the closer it gets to June, the closer it gets to my birthday, which is May 31st. So all things are good. Also June, summer starts, um, warmer weather. I love summer, favorite month, uh, favorite season. Um, I decided to make my title uh, ice cream because ice cream is my most favorite thing in the whole world. Um, it's summer, also one of my favorite things. It's June, another one of my favorite things. So just thought it fit perfectly. And specifically, mint and chip ice cream is my favorite. I know a lot of people aren't a big fan. I hear a lot of people say it tastes like toothpaste but they're completely wrong. It's my favorite. So, you know, I'm pretty happy with how my mint ice cream turned out, but I will say, I wish that I stuck with the mint theme throughout my whole June spread. I kind of wanted to go for a summer theme, but you know, ice cream is a summer thing. And then I thought to make every other page something else that summer, but I wish I would have just stuck to the the ice cream thing because I actually really love my June title. On the next page, I'm gonna go ahead and draw out my monthly overview. I like doing my overviews like this because it's smaller. I think the smaller calendar is kind of cute. Um, and yeah, I like listing out a couple of things that are going to be happening during the month. I don't feel like I have a whole lot going on during my months, but I mean, maybe if months start to fill up more, I'll change my spread or who knows maybe I'll make those little circles smaller but this is how I like my monthly overviews and right now I am drawing I hope you can guess it um that's a beach ball yeah I I tried to draw them and I kind of wish that I would have changed the colors and not left the middle white in all of them because then I kind of think I'm not even gonna say I don't want you guys to think anything other than that those are beach balls <laughs> and then I'm just gonna go ahead and write in some important dates and yeah for this spread this is going to be my weekly spread and I've had these pineapple um, washi tape for a while and I just haven't used them and I was like it's summer time this is perfect. Pineapples are also my favorite fruit. So, I mean, I guess that this theme is just gonna be my, my favorite summer stuff. So, I mean, I think the washi tape is really cute, so. I decided to make a Dutch door for this one because I really wanted to try it out. And I'm honestly not a big fan of having a bunch of pages for each different spread and I know a lot of people love decorating them and being all cute and stuff but to be honest I just don't stick with a page of a whole spread like I don't know 
we'll we'll end up seeing how I do the the smaller type of trackers and stuff like that but yeah I'm just I have to get used to the small trackers before I actually want to make a whole page just for one tracker because it just doesn't work out I don't ever fill it all out and I end up it just ends up being blank the whole time so I feel like this way I'll be putting in my weekly tasks and things like that and I'll also be looking at everything else so on the left I have some important tasks I just like to write out a couple of important tasks just so I don't forget to put them in my week and then the less important ones are things that need to get done but obviously are less important than the more important tasks just a little bit more room to have some written tasks and then I have my habit tracker down below um, I put pray water Bible vitamins I can't really see the rest but yeah hopefully you guys can see enough of those oh I also put doodle oh and outside to go outside <laughs> also I am putting a gratitude log because I just really love seeing the things that I am thankful for in these days and I thought that putting it weekly would make me a little bit more thankful for the whole, the week as a whole and I also decided to put each day um, for the days on this part of the Dutch door and then I am writing about three goals I didn't write them down because I'm not really sure exactly what I want to make my goals yet but once it gets closer to June I'll for sure know that <laughs> Hopefully I'll know that, but next I'm making a mood tracker and I also have a sleep tracker. I, I do like how people make their mood trackers with really cute pictures and stuff, but like I said, I'm not very good at um, continuing and actually marking my trackers, so I thought that this would be a great way just to start. Um, I just like to go by numbers. My mood tracker goes all the way up to 8, it didn't fit to 10, but 8 will be my max. And then I have um, the days of the week, and then my sleep tracker goes up to 16. And no, I never get 16 hours of sleep, that is way too much, but I had to fill the whole bar. And I wanted to go by 2s because if I went by 1s, sometimes I get more than 8 hours of sleep. Oh, and the middle one is one sentence a day. I spilled my markers there all over my page and I was laughing a little bit, but that was on accident. Anyways, the one sentence a day um, is kind of going to reflect my mood tracker just so that I can explain my mood for that day. And then next up, we're going to be filling out the other half of the Dutch doors. Well, the pages that are made from the Dutch doors. Um... I'm gonna go ahead and put more washi tape just so it matches the other side. I also noticed that I wasn't really thinking about how I put on the washi tape, so yes, the the way they're put on there are different, but oh well, I really did not even think about it. Um, I'm just gonna put the other days of the week at the top, and then you'll see that I have extra space at the bottom. For more of my bigger trackers, this one's going to be my workout log. I like to already know what workout I want to do for each day just because it motivates me a little bit more so I'm not as lazy saying like, oh, I don't even know what I want to do for a workout. So in this area, I'm just going to be putting exactly what I'm going to be doing those days. I also am kind of sad that I used this yellow marker instead of the other oranges one I had been using because I think it would have just flowed a little bit more, but I guess it doesn't look that bad. And right here, I am writing my favorite quote of all time. And you're, you've probably heard it, but yes, it's, it's still my favorite quote, no matter how common it is. And maybe you can guess it, but I'll wait until I'm done writing it to see. Yep, it's life begins at the end of your comfort zone. I love this quote because it always just reminds me that whenever I'm feeling uncomfortable, feeling anxious, 
or just really nervous about doing something that if you go out of your comfort zone and you don't you do those things that make you feel uncomfortable or make you nervous you're going to grow from them and the results are going to be way better than if you never did the thing that made you feel that way so it always just encourages me to really try new things even with how uncomfortable i can get doing new things it's fun too and makes me feel inspired like something big is gonna happen i know that's a lot to say about one quote but that's why it's my favorite quote i also thought i'd tie it in with a little beach at the bottom just to tie it in with the summer theme and yeah i know i don't really know what was going on with my themes hopefully i'll i'll get a grip for making a cohesive theme but you know i thought it was pretty cute i liked my quote section the most And next up, we are doing my monthly goals spread. I put this in the back because I totally forgot to put it in the front of my, like before my weekly spreads. So, you know, I still wanted them. So I thought, okay, I guess I'm just gonna have to put it in the back. But anyways, better than not having it, right? I've always been a fan of drawing suns in the corner of my paper i know that's such a little kid thing to do but i don't know i just <laughs> a sun in the in the corner of my paper makes me happy maybe suns just make me happy honestly it's because it's warmth and i love warmth the hot weather is my favorite if you can tell by now i am drawing a a little beach theme right here um i thought it'd be cute you know i kind of miss the beach and that's honestly my favorite thing about the summer is the warmer weather wanting to go to the beach more and i don't know the beach is my happy place i really love the ocean and how beautiful it all is so even though my drawings are really childish i guess you can say um, I know my little umbrella and my son in the corner. I draw a lot of little kid pictures. I'm not the best artist, but it's fun and they still make me happy. I decided to write down five numbers because I'm going to be thinking of five monthly goals for June. And again, I don't know my monthly goals yet, but I'll start planning that out a little bit more. You know what? To be honest, I'm I'm doing this voiceover on the 28th and I probably should have my goals already. But you know what? Maybe May 30th will be the day where I write my goals. That will be the day. On this page, I am making a little Polaroid because this is going to be my monthly favorites page. Thought it'd just be cute to show it as like a memory, you know, a memory of June, all of my favorites that I loved to do for the month. So I put songs, workouts, food, and hobbies. I feel like I'm always finding new songs, so that one's definitely gonna be fun. Um, I thought I'm always doing the same workouts, so I thought maybe like putting my favorite workouts would be a little bit more fun to look back at the next month. And then food, I love all food, but hopefully I'll be able to choose a favorite food. And hobbies, to be honest, during this time, I have found so many new hobbies, so I'm sure I'll find a favorite hobby too. And the bottom is for a quote.
All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up.